let's do this. Hello everybody, <laughs> I'm in the Little Word, also known as Martin, and welcome to this week's In the Little Box. This is the weekly show on my channel where I open lots of mail from you and I read it out and I show you what things I get and it's all very fun and exciting. I need to get my stopwatch so I know exactly how long this episode's going to be because uh, usually we do it for about 10-15 minutes and then I sort of end the video there and I've got company around this weekend, I've got XI Lubes over in that room, I might get him for you at the end so you can say hello to him. But I'm going to put that down there and I'm going to grab the first thing that I'm going to open this week. If you ever want to send anything to the PO box, the information is in the description below, so make sure you go and check that out. Uh, it's basically the Yogscast PO box, uh, you just have to put my name on it. It's as simple as that, really. Uh, and this is the first one that I'm going to open this week. Now, I'm going to need uh, something to open things with, like keys. Keys would be great right now, but I don't have those. That's a lie, I do. Let me open this. So what I tend to do is I tend to open a package, then I open a letter and, you know, alternate between the two. More often than not, there aren't actually that many packages, so I actually get through a lot more letters. Uh, and even if I never read out your letter on the PO box, or if I don't open your package on the PO box, I do open every single one that I receive, or at least I'm trying to get through them all at the minute. Because I've got this shelf just here, I've got this box <laughs> right here from last week, which is now completely filled. Um, there's a big pile to the left of the camera and there's also a big pile below me here which I'm opening today so we're getting like a hell of a lot of stuff is absolutely crazy but I really love it as well because at least then I know I'm never gonna have to like run out of like things to open so that's really cool right let's open this up let's see what it is a lot of duct tape on it. Ugh, there we go. Oh, you put duct tape on the inside as well. No! <laughs> My arch nemesis. Ah, gotcha. Right, there we go. Oh, what's that? Is that a mushroom or... Oh, it's only that's redstone. Oh my god, is this like a package from Sethling? That'd be pretty cool. There we go. So we've got like a nice little red piece of redstone, which is pretty cool. I'm going to pop that down there for now. And let's find out who this is from. Uh, it says, Dear Martin slash in the Littlewood. My name is Theo, or Theslo by Bob. I think it's your username. Uh, I sent you a letter, and you read it on the first in the little box, the second letter. And I'm just really honoured and happy that you actually read it. So you've had two now. Well done for you. That's pretty impressive considering how much stuff we get in that you've gotten onto this twice. Um, in this box is an assortment of items. Some of it is art, some of it is fan art. Same thing really. Uh, and some of it is just a box. Cool. Uh, I would be delighted if you would read this on In The Little Box. I was just wondering if you could stop talk taking all the big boxes out of all the mail and read some of the just envelopes. Yeah, that's what I do. I, I alternate between the two of them. It's mainly because I have to open the big boxes to make space in my room. The letters are very easy to like, you know, like there, all that is letters, so it's very easy for me to contain those. But with the big boxes, they just pile up my room, so I literally have to open them every week. Um, and then there's like a million and one questions, random questions. I'm gonna rattle through these. Do you like pie? Uh, kind of. Uh, there are three guys, two of them walk into a bar, the third one says duck. Aha. Uh, who the heck is Minty? Minty is the girl who works in the office. She is basically like one of the admins of the Yogscast, so she like runs the Facebook page, she runs the forum and the website, and she also gets all the mail that comes into the office and distributes it out to the right people, so we have a lot to owe to Minty. She's actually the reason reason why a lot of the stuff here at the office runs so smoothly because she's like coordinating everything. She's very, very cool. Um, you've probably seen her in uh, Sips and Shins Tech It series, I think once or twice. Uh, her username is Minty Minute, so you might have seen her on that. Uh, I think you're freaking awesome. I think you're freaking awesome. Uh, number five, would you please send a letter replying to this? Uh, if I have a return address, I guess I could. I could send you like a Martin badge. But I don't see an address anyway. Okay. Uh, number six. Do you have a public Skype? No, well, I have it in the little wood, but I forgot the password. Um, can I make a Let's Play series with you? Probably not, just because I'm so busy with everything else. Uh, number seven. No, no, stop. That was number seven. Number eight. I was going to try and fit myself in the box, but I was too big. Cool story, bro. Uh, number nine. I think I'm Juanis. Ah, genius, but spelt wrong. Um, for using a computer and not revealing I have terrible handwriting. Ah, but you spelt genius wrong. But that might have been a joke, or that might have been a genuine mistake, which actually makes this whole thing very funny. Uh, question number 10. Oops, probably the typo that you noticed. Uh, 11. You have a girlfriend and you didn't tell the saplings? How dare you? I didn't tell them for like a week, I think. I think, I think we spent a week just checking that we were both comfortable with it and I told everybody. For people that don't know, uh, Kai you Dream, you might have seen her on the Dungeon Land video, you might have seen her on the stream the other week. Yeah, we're dating, so there you go, that's the thing. Um, I'm your 536th subscriber. Thank you, number 12. Uh, number 13, I need a life. Oh, and also a job. That's, yeah, everybody needs those. Uh, number 14, I'm running out of ideas to tell you about. Oh, no. Number 15, I'm a woodchuck. Oh, if a woodchuck... Oh, God, I'm trying to say this fast. <laughs> I knew you 
get through this in here somewhere. I think you know that I'd rattle through these really quick. Um, if a woodchuck could chuck wood as much as a woodchuck could, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck as much as a woodchuck could chuck wood is the answer to that question. Uh, 16, lol, yeah, you caught me. Uh, 17, what's your favourite food? I don't feel like I should answer that. That's like a security question, isn't it? I'm going to skip it. Uh, 18, I play Minecraft 24-7. Me too, complete lie. Uh, number 19, how about a game of chess? Uh, I don't really know how to play chess. Checkers, I play it with checkers. And number 20, this is my 20th question. Do you know where or when Minecon 2013 will be? No, I don't. <laughs> But I just end it dramatically. So thank you very much for those. Uh, that's from Theo. I'll just check out the fan arts as well. There's a lot of stuff going off in these fan arts. There's a lot of craziness going on right now. There's me attacking things. There's me with a person in a dress, I think. Or I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But there's a person just there as well. Lots of craziness. And then there's a Tropicraft one as well. I don't think that's... Oh, I think that's me actually sat under a palm tree <laughs> opening the, the Tropicraft thing. So there you go. Thank you very much, Theo, for your bits this week. Uh, let's open up a letter. I'm going to go for this one here. There we go. Oh, no, I like that one more. Sorry. <laughs> I'm basing it on looks. I'm that shallow. But check this out. I'm going to hide the address, but the envelope has got this kind of weird recycle texture on it. And the uh, stamps as well look pretty cool. They're all like big USA ones. That's pretty awesome. Right, let me open this up. Let's see what we got. Uh, I really need my letter opener back. I found it. Did I tell you about this? I found my letter opener. It was in my flat next to my radio award. So that's where it's hidden at the minute. Right, oh, it's a typed letter, this is good. If you're ever worried about your handwriting, just type the letter out, because it's so much easier for me to read as well. Uh, it says, Dear Martin, please read this on in the little box. Done. Uh, hello, I am Cullen. Hello, Cullen. Um, I'm a big fan of your videos. What, what first got me watching them was when my friend showed me form this way, and it really made me want to watch you. Sorry I'm writing on the computer, my handwriting is awful. Totally fine. Uh, I'm 10 years old, and I just subscribed to your channel. Why, thank you. Uh, I have two questions to ask. One, what game recording software do you use to make gameplay videos? DX Tory. Uh, two, how do you get those thumbnails on your videos? You have to be a partner, so when you're a YouTube partner, you can upload custom thumbnails. Otherwise, the YouTube themselves will pick three random stills from in the video. Because if you notice, Toby um, doesn't have custom thumbnails, or at least I don't think he does. Um, and that's for that reason, because his partnership is all crazy and whatnot. Um, that is why I want to know uh, how to change them. About the recording, I use Hypercam 2, which the quality stinks. <laughs> and I wanted to know if you could tell me what you use. Well there's Fraps and there's DX Tory. If you're quite young then maybe Fraps is going to be a bit user friendly uh, a bit more user friendly. So buy Fraps. They cost the same actually. For people that are a bit more like technically savvy it's really not that much more difficult um, but use DX Tory. If you want a simpler program then use Fraps. That's what I'd suggest. Uh, my YouTube channel is new but it's Failsplosion that's F-A-I L-S-P-O uh, P-L-O-S-I-O-N, so Phil Splosion. Uh, I would be very happy if you were subscribed to it. You would be my first and favourite subscriber. Ah, uh, Please play Slender. You can buy it on Steam. I think I already played Slender, didn't I? I think I played it for Halloween. I think I played it. I'm sure I did. Or was that Amnesia Custom Maps? I think that was Amnesia Custom Maps. I don't know if I've played Slender yet. Have I? I don't know, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to Google it in a second. Uh, also, play The Walking Dead and get that on Steam. I actually have that, that's a game actually that I've got, but I'm not gonna do a series on it. I wanna play that for myself, just to enjoy it properly. Um, but somebody bought me that on Steam off my wish list. I don't think I actually have anything on that at the minute. I think The Walking Dead was the last thing on there, but um, but yeah, if you ever wanna see who I am on Steam, I'm In The Littlewood. I'm the guy with the Minecraft avatar, but I'm probably gonna change that soon. But if you go to the In The Littlewood group and then look at who, who the admin is, that'll be the most, like, official way to work out who I am. So there we go. So thank you very much for the letter, Cullen. Much appreciated, sir. Hopefully that answers your questions as well. If you've got any more, uh, you can either tweet me, at In The Littlewood, or you can go to my website, In The Little and there's a frequently asked questions page on there and if it's not on there then there's also the um, there's also the reddit AMA which I check every so often as well that's on the Yogscast subreddit so that's all good and I'm going to open this up and holy crap there's a lot of stuff hold on a second right there's a load of Milky Way bars <laughs> we've got an alien invasion oh my god yes yes okay I'm going to have to try right I'm looking at this at a weird angle uh, oh balls I got it. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to play this like backwards because the camera's rotated on my screen. Uh. Oh. No, no. Oh, balls. No. Got it. My fingers are too big. I'm covering everything up. There you go. Got it. Uh. Oh, it's there. 
Yeah! What, what's going on there? Oh. What? What was Chewie doing on there? Oh my god. You have no idea how much time I'm going to spend playing on this. Okay, I've got to stop. I've got to stop because otherwise I'm not going to play it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Right, let's open this up. And there was also a, uh, a little whale in there. Or is that a dolphin? I'm not quite sure. There's a little whale. So there you go. A little dolphin. Ah! Put him on the chair. Right, let's open this up. There is a... <laughs> there's some gas, which is pretty cool. There you go. I think that's from his brother, does that say? Uh, yeah, brother's fan art. There you go. So there's that one. And there is also... Uh, Nathan's fan art. Okay, so this is from Nathan. Uh, there you go. There's my head. I'll turn it at an angle. And then there's my body at the bottom as well. And then there is... Oh, here's the letter as well. Okay, cool. Uh, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. You wrote in the Littlewood as the logo as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, Dear in the Littlewood, also known as Martin. My name is Nathan and I come from Suffolk, near London. I've been watching your videos uh, since Martin and Friends episode 2. Oh my god, the diamond bucket, yes. Um, <laughs> uh, do, do, as when you have a pug called Bella. What's that? Oh, as well as... Oh, as well as you, I have a pug called Bella. Okay, your pug is called Bella, not mine. I was like, my pug is called Darcy. Mm. Um, but your pug is called Bella, apparently. And I like... Uh, and I like you think... Oh, I like you. I think they're awesome. Okay, cool. I'm trying to read the handwriting. Uh, please give me a shout-out to my brother, Brendan, and my friend, Elliot. Hello, Brendan Elliot. Hello. Um, I got some random uh, stuff from my room. Hope you like them. <laughs> Bye! On the end of it as well. What else was in the thing? I threw away... Uh, the Milky Bars are in here. They're like tiny Milky Bars as well. Little diddy ones. Um, there was also, as well as that space game, there was... Uh, what else we got? What are these? The hell? Are they like... Oh, it's like a... Is it a jump... It's not a jumping bean, is it? What's it called? Yeah, it is. It's like a jumping bean. So it's like... Oh, oh god, it's gone. <laughs> and then there's some weird, like, pig... pig astronaut, A grandpa pig astronaut, Which is kind of weird. It's like a pig as an astronaut. That's strange. Um, what else have we got? There was a couple more... Oh, it's just another jumping bean. This one's a skeleton head. Oh, 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 stay, no, 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 stay, still, no, oh, I've lost him, I've lost him, <laughs> he's run off, oh my god, thank you very much for those, <laughs> they were very random, I'm probably going to play this game a hell of a lot more just for when I'm bored, uh, and let us open up the next thing, so that was a package, so let's just open a letter, let us go for this one, it comes all the way from Canada, it's got some really cool um, stamps on it as well in the top corner, so I'm liking that. And this is from uh, Hugh McKay, apparently. Or at least that's the return address. It might be sent by Hugh McKay's son, because we have a lot of younger people send stuff into the P.O. Box. Oh yeah, Simpson Martin kicking some ass. Oh yes, take that, creepers. Right, let's open this up. Oh my god, it's stapled on all sides. Oh, actually, it's supposed to be. Okay, there's a letter on the other side. Okay, uh, I'll hold this up like that whilst I read it. Uh, Hello, Martin. My name is Hugh, and I love your videos. Sorry if my grammar sucks. I have dyslexia. Please make more Tekkit videos. They are really awesome. We want to, but the Tekkit server's actually down this week. Little, like, behind the scenes at Yogg Towers for you. Uh, it's actually, yeah, the server's down at the minute. That's why Stripping's not been able to put any episodes out either, so we're a little bit stuck at the minute, so that's fine. Um, I've been debating whether or not to send this for a while now, but I've decided to do it. I have some fan art and a suggestion or two. Number one, you should do a Let's Play of Skyrim. It's very awesome. Well, instead of doing a Let's Play, I used to play it on the live stream for like hours on end because a lot there's a lot of stuff that like doesn't happen in Skyrim if that makes sense you can walk around for a long time and not much happens so what I used to do was I used to stream it for hours on end and then I would like chop out best bits and make like a little highlight thing which is kind of what I've been doing with the Friday live streams now as well I kind of like doing that so if I play Skyrim in the future then I'll probably do that and I think I might be doing that for Sonic 06 as well there are a lot of like funny ragey moments um, <laughs> when I played that the other day so yeah that sort of stuff I definitely want to do more of. Uh, and number two, look at the fan art. That is a suggestion, apparently. And there it is. Boom. Uh, now that's out of the way, I would like to ask uh, if you like the fan art. Sorry if it's a bit short. This is the first time I've ever had to send a mail to a YouTuber. Bye! I like it. It's good. It makes me feel strong for once. When you work in the office with stripping every day, you can sometimes feel a little bit weedy and you've got no muscles. and you know. Ugh. But yeah, when I see this, I'm thinking, yeah. I'm a hard man, I'll take you out any day. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Hugh. Much appreciated. All the way from Canada as well, which is insanely awesome. And I think I've got time for one more. And I'm going to open this bad boy. Boom! It's a big old package this week. Uh, and this comes from inside the UK, so I'm interested to see what this is going to be. I get the feeling this is going to be a shoebox. 
with stuff in it. I could be wrong though. Yeah, it's a shoebox. Okay, cool. It was it was around about the right size to be a shoebox. There we go. Let's open this up. We're gonna rip all that paper off it. Gone. Right, cool. What is inside of this? Oh, you put sanitary tape on it as well. There's multiple layers. Ogres are like onions, and apparently like shoeboxes as well. Go on, there you go. And that one as well. And there's, co of course, there's sanitary tape on the other side. Of course there is. There we go, right. Oh, I don't actually know what's in here. Hold on a second. The letter's on top, so I'm assuming I should read that first. Here we go. Oh, this paper's nice. This is like, this is fancy people paper, this is. This is like rich people paper. This is like Hugh Hefner paper. Um, hi in the little wood, also known as Martin. I'm known as an artist and I've been doing yog art for a number of months slash years. I've done a pair of yog venture shoes. What? Uh, and a bunch of paintings and toy customising based on the Yogscast. I first started watching you during your playthrough of Jet Set Radio. I subscribed to you officially when you started the Nerd Cube series and I'm looking forward to seeing more from you too. So here's something I made a while back, but instead of selling them, I decided they just need to go to a good home. I'm sorry in advance if they don't fit, however, feel free to give them to whoever you feel like to wear or display. You're a great YouTuber and don't stop growing. All the best from MattStar102, uh, also known as Matt Smith. Not the doctor. <laughs> he says that in the brackets in there. Uh, on everywhere on the internet, on YouTube, Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter, that's Matt Star. That's only one T as well. M A T S T A R 102. Uh, P.S. Could you tell NerdCube that I'm working on an art piece for him? Uh, thank you. That would be proper tidy, man. Proper massive. Proper tidy. Right, I want to see these shoes. I'm well excited. These are like in the little shoes. I'm totally not going to give these away, by the way. These are like going to go on my shelf in my office. Right, let's open these up. But, uh, but yeah, in regards to the Nerd Cube thing, a lot of people are expecting an episode tomorrow, uh, but Nerd Cube has been ill at the minute, so we've not actually had a chance to sit down and record. And in our first session, if you've seen yesterday's episode, I'm not going to say any spoilers, but you'll see why we didn't carry on recording after that day. Um, but yeah, so no Nerd Cube tomorrow. So there's no Nerd Cube. I can't say it. No Nerd Cube tomorrow. Got it. There, I said it. I'm not saying it again. There's no video tomorrow on that. I will try and get something else out, um, but I don't know what it's going to be just yet. And I'm having a nightmare trying to get into these shoes. Um, come on, Matt. Let me in. There we go. I think I've just got to be strong and rip through. Oh, these are like my Cooper shoes. There we go. I genuinely didn't think that there'd be shoes inside of a shoe box. I know, go figure, right? Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Yeah, these are totally mine. What size are they? Please tell me they're 11s. Are they 11? Oh, they're a UK 9. Okay, well, these are just going to be decorative then. Look at this, everybody. So, I've got a Jet Set Radio, like, little thing on that side. And on the other side, I've got Yo! And I've got B as well, or Yo Yo, and B. It's very well drawn as well. That's totally going on my shelf. I'm going to find a place for that to live. And then uh, the other shoe is the same, it's got the Jet Set Radio logo on that side, and then it's got, um, oh my god, I forgot the names, it's Gum, and I think it's Tab as well. It's got Gum and, uh, Gum and Tab on the other side, so that's really cool. I might see if this fits, actually. Let me have a look. I know it's a size, like, 9, and I'm a size 11, but let me see if I can actually get my foot into this bad boy. I'm going to smell these up, it's fine. There we go. Oh, there's lots of, like, filling on the inside as well. You knew you were sending this to the PO box, so you, like, filled it out so it's all, like, so it's all like shoe-shaped when it, when it arrives. Let me open this up. I need to do this, actually. I want to get, like, a felt tip and actually, like, wear a shoe as well. If you haven't noticed yet, by the way, Hey, I'm Grump! I got the shirts yesterday. I got a Hey, I'm Grump, and I got a Not So Grump shirt as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Right, I'm going to try and get my foot into here. Uh, oh, God, this isn't going to end well, but I'm going to try. There we go. I'm just going to, like, untie the laces. This is great watching, by the way. This is uh, compelling video making, professionalism at its highest form here at the Yogscast. Uh, my foot is so massive, it's not even going to go in there. I tried to get my foot in, that's as far as I got it, that's my heel. So, <laughs> that's not going to happen. I did try, though, I did try. I think I might actually put those up on my shelf somewhere. I think I've got space, like that shelf there, actually, if I show you it. Um, if you look up. That one just there with the Sonic hat on, all that's on there is a Sonic hat and a cable. So, you know, that's all I've got on there. But I need to find, like, I don't know. I need to find maybe, like, a yellow spray can or something. If I could find one of those, that would be pretty cool. I might get a yellow spray can. I might, like, draw a sapling logo onto it. And then I can have those two on the shelf and also have something else. But I don't know. That's for another day for me to decide. But I could put it on the shelf like that. 
yeah, so they sat there like that on the shelf, so you can see the insides with the characters, and then I'll put a spray can in the middle, but there we go, that's decorating within the little wood. <laughs> so there we go, that's all for this week's episode, thank you very much again to everybody that sends stuff. Uh, we've still got tons of letters to get through, I'm going to read a couple now, uh, as soon as the video finishes, and I might get Lewis to come in. Lewis! Lewis dear! Lewis! Come here sweetheart! Come here darling! I'll bring Lewis into the video, just for the sake of it, because we can. It's all good. We've got the jumping beans as well. Hello, dear. Hello, sweetie. I thought I would just get you to come and say hello. Oh, right. There we go. Yeah. In you come, in you pop. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Hello. 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 So this is Lewis, by the way, everybody. You should all thank him, actually, in the comment section, if you could. Because this is the man responsible for the Christmas adventure. He, like, built loads of stuff. He planned it every day. And also, big help to Killer of Fire UK. Yes, and Killer. And also, um... Another member of Fire UK who did a lot of redstone made the tree possible. Oh, okay, I cool. can't remember, but we'll put his name in the description. I don't remember what his name was. Ooh, I have him on Skype. Awkward! Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, We're gonna get now. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. bye. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Tomahawk to the face! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>